Happy New Year's, ballers. It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. And in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my top 10 resolutions for EA to continue to make NBA Live Mobile great. My first resolution is a pretty simple one. Basically, what I want fixed is make backcourt violations a thing. It's a thing in every type of basketball you ever play, every video game you ever play. Backcourt violations are a thing. It should be a thing in NBA Live Mobile. I'm not really sure why it's not yet. I kind of understood whenever we first had the game and it was pretty new, but ever since then, I've been waiting on it and it hasn't happened. The second resolution is to make autoplay great again. It used to be that you could autoplay a 90 overall team and a se against a 70 overall team, and the 90 overall team would win every time. Now it's really difficult for my 90 overall team to beat anything above a 75 overall, especially on autoplay. So my second resolution is to make autoplay realistic again, like it is the AI actually playing against the AI and not one of the AIs is significantly nerfed. My third resolution is to get rid of this offensive hooking foul you're about to see. There you go. So what you just saw, it happens anytime you hold down the guard button. And basically, it's an offensive foul in every type of in every type of basketball you would ever play. But for some reason, it's become some sort of an offensive move for NBA Live Mobile. And it's really annoying because it makes it so that you actually can't hold down the guard button at all. And basically, the other team automatically gets the basket if you do anything resembling that. Uh, and so I understand if you want to make it so this AI can easily get around defenders, but it shouldn't be by committing an offensive foul. If it's a foul, it should be a foul, and it shouldn't be made a part of the game. The next couple resolutions have to do with leagues in NBA Live Mobile. So the first one is just to fix the difficulty for league versus league gameplay. For some reason, it is exponentially harder to score, to get steals, to get blocks for league versus league, which makes it A, really difficult to win games, and also B, really difficult to get achievements. So I've probably played five games with my defensive lineup, and so far I have two steals and zero blocks. So part of the reason I haven't gotten any blocks is because players automatically use their bodies to guard the ball any time that they're playing and it's pretty much impossible to get blocks and for some reason it's just about impossible to get steals it's understandable that I'm having a hard time with James Harden but it didn't work when I had Russell Westbrook either so that confuses me a little bit the second thing is to fix force closing so basically what force closing is is where a team will as soon as the other team is about to score on them close out of the app and then they will get to start the possession over again with a chance to get the steal we played this team 7st two times in a row and both times lost by probably 400 points and the reason that happened is because they have been known to force close in their games now i see they do have a lot of good players on their team but their overall their ratings are relatively similar to our teams and we tried to talk to them about force closing. They wouldn't say a single thing about it. It's well known that they do it, and it's kind of ruining the game for everybody else. And so that's one of the things that needs to be fixed in order to make leak versus league great again. The next resolution is just to fix the achievements, especially in league versus league. So there have been multiple times where I would get steals in a game. I would go and check, and for some reason it didn't register steals. I've heard other people talk the same about uh, things like assists, so for some reason an alley-oop doesn't count as an assist. An alley-oop should always be an assist, which means both of those should help you towards your two-way master, but for some reason it usually only counts one or the other. And there are a number of other statistics that for some reason aren't registered whenever people are trying to work towards these achievements. So we would definitely like to be able to see EA fix that so that we can get the achievements that we need for those master cards. The next resolution that I have for EA is to be careful of live events and how you release them, especially in regards to new players that you introduce to the game. So one of the huge impacts that introducing T-Max for all five lineups did to the game 
is it completely crashed the value of all shooting guards in the game. So looking at these, uh, that Clay Thompson used to sell for 1.5 mil. Clyde Drexler used to sell for 800k. I saw somebody buy him earlier for 350k. This Clay Thompson would normally be worth probably somewhere around 1.5 mil. He's now worth, I believe I got him for 600k. Um, really crashed the value of all the shooting guards in the game. Like if we're going to filter by especially cheaper ones, 600,000 I believe. Um, usually there weren't any shooting guards that you could get 90 and above for under 600,000. And now they're all over the place. You can see that Joe Dumars for 380k. These Dwayne Wades used to be crazy expensive. T-Mac used to be one of the most expensive cards in the game. And now it's going for 530k. Talking about the 90 overall Tracy McGrady. And it's understandable that new players would come in and replace him. But these players that used to have a lot of value completely lost all their value. And people lost a lot of coins because there were so many Tracy McGrady's introduced to the game all at once. And because the game allowed the event to go on for so long and really flooded the market and crashed the value of all of the other shooting guards. My next resolution is a pretty simple one. Just bring back the pack luck. And it might just be exclusive to me because I've seen a lot of other people getting really good pulls. But for some reason lately, I can't pull anything to save my life out of any packs. So one of my simple requests as a resolution would just be to bring back the pack luck. My ninth resolution is to make these impact players auctionable again, as well as a number of other players such as big moments players. They were auctionable in the soft launch and honestly they were a decent way to make coins. They're not that great to make coins now because they require so many elite trophies. And then you add on the fact that you can't auction any of them which makes none of them really worth it at all. So I honestly don't know anybody that uses any impact players, partially because of their low rating, but also because you'll able never be able to auction the players so they don't really have any value outside of being inside your lineup. And then lastly, for my 10th resolution, I don't want this whole video to seem negative. So my encouragement to EA is just to continue doing what you're doing. The game is already amazing and we're just really looking to make it better so we can't see what you guys have to come in the future. We've already had some amazing events and programs so far and we just want to see you guys continue to keep it up and keep improving the game and we know that it'll continue to grow from here. So that's going to be about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you did and I will see you guys next time.